it's a great pleasure for me to introduce our host for this evening's performance. She started her career as a ballerina in Paris, but when Gene Kelly discovered her and brought her to America, she quickly became a star of the Hollywood musical era. Her starring roles in Gigi and An American in Paris earned her millions of fans throughout the world, and it's an honor for us to have her here this evening. Please help me welcome Leslie Caron. Thank you, Keith, maestro. Thank you for inviting me to join in this celebration of the tango, which personally I adore. Yeah, I was lucky enough to uh, have Fred Astaire as my first tango partner. Not bad. So, tonight, Thanks to Louis Bravo and the musicians and dancers of Forever Tango, we are in Buenos Aires, where the tango was born. Before the dance, there was the music. Mr. Bravo rightly describes the tango as the music of the immigrant, of someone who is always leaving and never finds home. The tango came from the immigrant workers on the Argentinian docks in the late 19th century, forced to leave their families, their mothers, their lovers behind, these lonely French, Italian, Irish, German men crowded in the bars and brothels to sing nostalgically of the life they had left behind. The voice of the tango is an instrument called the bandoneon, a German instrument, which is a descendant of the accordion. All the rage in European salons, the bandanion creates the lonely and mournful sound unique to the tango. The most sophisticated and celebrated tango composer was Astor Piazzolla, who wrote this tribute to his father, Adios. Nonino. <laughs> <laughs> 